Doc Beach here at Applied Ballistics, and today I'm going to show you how to pair your SIG BDX ABE device to a Garmin Fortrex 701. So there's a couple of important things to make sure that you remember when doing this. The first is this won't work for all BDX devices. It must be a device that features ABE. Uh, that's the 2400 and the 3000 model currently. There'll be more in the future that have this feature set, but it won't work unless you're BDX device has ABE mode. So in this case, I'll just be using a 2400 BDX. The other important thing to note is you must have firmware 2.95 or newer on your Fortrex 701. Firmware 2.95 was the first firmware that featured the connectivity, the bridge between the two devices. So let's go ahead and get started here and show you how to pair these two devices together. Starting with the 2400, we want to make sure that we're in ABE mode. To do that's fairly simple, so we'll turn this device on. And you can see here that this device is already in ABE mode. But to change that, um, if you weren't, if you were LOS, AMR or something, you would hold the mode button down. The very first setting uh, is the setting that you're looking for, and you would simply tap the range button until it says ABE. Once you've done that, you can move on to the Fortrex 701. Now with the Fortrex 701, I'll turn the light on here to make this easier. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the settings page. So we'll hit the page button. And here we are at the settings page. Now, we'll first check our firmware. And we do that in uh, setup. And then about. Fortrex, hit enter. You can see here we're firmware 2.95. If we weren't, then we would need to update the firmware. And Garmin uh, offers software on their website to do that. It's fairly simple. You just use the included cable. The next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to go to connect. Then we're going to scroll down all the way down to where it says applied ballistics. We're going to hit enter. We're going to scroll down to search for new and hit enter. Now you can see it's searching. Now it's important to note that the uh, 2400 here, whatever device you're using, has to be turned on for this to work. You can see it found our 2400 BDX, and there's a serial number there. Uh, if you were in a crowded place and multiple devices popped up, you could just look at the bottom of your, uh, your SIG device, find the serial number, and match them. Generally, most people will probably only have the one option because you're doing this from home. So we'll go ahead and just hit enter on that device. You can see now that it populates it in this field, and that's it. We're connected. So the next time that we go to use our, um, our device, or if you wanted to start using it right away, all you have to do is turn it on, you range a target, and it's going to update this range for you uh, off the laser rangefinder. Um, something that's uh, really good to note here is when you've done this, it actually takes the SIG Kilo device out of the ABU system, which means you, as long as you can range it with the laser rangefinder, you're going to get a firing solution. So you could laser a target at a mile, beyond a mile, whatever you wanted, and you'll be able to get that firing solution instead of the, uh, the ABU's 800-yard um, system limitation. So that's one of the advantages to doing this. Also, it does allow for easier use of the 701 because you or anybody could laser the target for you. You'll see it pop up here, and it'll give you your firing solution. So that's how you connect those two devices together. It really is that simple, and once you've done that, you are, you're ready to go.